As you all know, we love our composting toilet, but Fleetwood didn't want us to install it ourselves. If you're wondering why, watch this video here. <laughs> so I'm gonna take you kind of around and show you how they installed it and the ups and downs of how it's installed here on the Fleetwood Excursion. So the most difficult part about installing it in an excursion is the wall actually ended right here. So they had to extend this about four inches, which meant replacing the tiles here and rebuilding this wall. Um, that was the most difficult part about installing in an excursion. Since the toilet that came with the excursion was a vacuum flush system, you can see there was already power run, which was my biggest issue with the installation of the composting toilet in our Vesta. The other difficult part about installing a composting toilet is finding a, a location to run the vent hose. So for here, all they had to do was drill a hole here they already had this giant area under here to kind of weasel down and then you can see this goes the vent hose goes straight down into the bay so it's a really clean install and i think it was pretty simple what's great about replacing a vacuum flush system is there's no real drain hose so all we have is this little vent pipe here that they have to cover up in order to be able to reinstall the old toilet whenever we leave this rv they actually left the water connection here now, I personally would have not capped this end part. I would have capped it right here, so that way I could hide this hose. But it's all hidden behind the composting toilet anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. That's just an extra top to our uh, liquid tank. <laughs> but you can see, it's pretty simple. It's pretty well set up for a composting install other than just building this out a little bit. And honestly, I don't even know if it was necessary to build it out, but it just makes it a lot easier to use. And you can see the toilet covers up all the hole, all the extra cord, everything. I keep my power supply and my vent hose rubber banded together. That way they're never uh, separated. A couple screws, just put it right back in. If you're wondering why there's a stool here, <laughs> obviously this was for a vacuum flush system and that toilet only sits about this high. With the composting toilet, it sits up quite a bit higher because now it's on this pedestal. The only downside is, when it's time to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I feel like a kid again. You don't need it, but man, I don't wanna be doing this while I'm going to the bathroom. So, that's one downside about the height. That's not a huge issue. But the upside? As a man, now you can stand to pee much, much easier. So upside for me, downside for Nikki, I say it's a win-win. Another cool thing is you can turn the toilet on and off. Not that I'd ever need to do that, but maybe when you're storing it. So that's the install in here. It looks pretty good to me. Let me show you the vent hose installed down in the bay. It looks pretty cool. And here's the install here. This is the floor of our bathroom here. You can see the vent hose comes straight down. There's actually already a hole here for the vacuum cleaner. Uh, comes straight down here, meets with this PVC pipe, comes down. Nice solid install, much better than what I did on my first go around on the old RV. <laughs> it ends up out here with a little netting to keep bugs from getting in. And here's the exhaust right here. You can feel the air coming out. And that's the install of our composting toilet on a Fleetwood excursion. <laughs>